relatives of victims of the Abuja Kaduna train attack have formed a protest group at the headquarters of the Ministry of Transportation in Abuja following the release of a new video by the terrorists. The protesters who occupy the main entrance to the ministry today asked the federal government to take steps to secure the release of their loved ones who were abducted by gunmen at Katari village on March the 28th. A spokesperson for the protesters, Ahmed Arua, said they should continue to block the entrance of the Ministry of Transportation until they get a definite response from the government. The demonstration comes barely 24 hours after disturbing images emerged where many of the victims were seen languishing in the terrorist camp. For that love that we had for you before we voted you in, for you to look at us, with mercy, we are like your children. I beg you, Baba Buhari, to help release our loved ones. These victims are asking for a huge amount of money. We are here to tell the government that the lives of all our relatives in the bush there with the kidnappers is, is the thing is that as we speak, they have been flogged. They have been macheted, they have been given all sorts of punishment as we speak. And they have threatened to eliminate them, to kill them. At a point, some of those that can gather money have gathered money and got their loved one released. Even it is now becoming difficult to even get money to release them. In a video released yesterday, which we advise viewers' discretion, the hostages can be seen crying and calling for help as they were being beaten by the gun-wielding terrorists. One of the insurgents said the captives will be sold off as slaves if their demands are not met by the government. Speaking in Hausa, he said the authorities must meet their demands or they will kill some of the captives. Dressed in military camouflage, the terrorists also promised to attack other regions of the country as they claim to be on a mission. This group of captives have spent at least 119 days in the forest with their abductors. 63 of them were kidnapped, 20 of them regained freedom in batches, and at least 43 of them are still in captivity. <laughs> 